and, and maybe again, I'm not looking at it in terms of finances. I'm looking for Adam to just basically say, "Hey, listen, I like to be in these, like, hey, I'm a porn star. I'm like sexually numb to regular sex." Isn't that what I just said that you disagree with? No, no, no. You're saying that there's a financial incentive. No, I'm, what I'm saying is that. And I want him to just be listen, like, yo, listen. I don't know. I love the freak shit. I like other people having sex with my know, wife. Adam, it turns me on. I don't I'm know, at the Adam, point where I fuck yeah. so much that I can't even get hard where doing regular shit. And I, I need to I do think, this. I so think, it's, it's more than money. I think. Bro, these guys are visibly way more drunk than they were in the last timestamp, by the way. Damn. This is like a bad conversation at the bar. Adam and Lena have both experienced sexual trauma in their lives. And because of that, as a coping mechanism, they have desensitized themselves you to sex. You call it trauma if they were describing it? No, no I'm saying at like younger ages. Oh, uh, and because of that, as a way to cope with it, you, you basically diminish what sex is. So if you go, sex is actually nothing, then that horrendous thing that happened to you, right, is nothing. It means less, it affects you less. And then once you numb yourself to sex, you can kind of do anything within that. Now, I don't know if that happened to them. That would be a hypothesis that I would come up with, right? Because for me, it's not numb. It would be horrific to do what they did, but they're capable of doing it. So I have to find some sort of explanation to that. And a lot of people in the industry, unfortunately, have experienced this horrible shit. Well, he makes a point. I mean, I think that's sort of a... That was a really roundabout way of trying to make his point. But I do think Adam is clearly very numb to anything sexual. I mean, they even asked him on the stream, I think on his own show, what would you do if your daughter started an OF and was doing what you did? And he basically said he would support his daughter doing an OF. And then when asked if he cared if his kids were teased about what he does, he, he just said he doesn't care. He's like, they're, I think he said they're going to have to deal with it or something. So Adam is definitely numb. But I don't think all adult uh, video corn creators, I'm trying not to get taken off YouTube if you couldn't tell. I don't think all of them fall into that category. So once you're numb to it, you can do anything. Once you're numb to it, you yeah. can do anything. And wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. He's numb. And monetize the he's fact numb. that we are not numb. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I don't know if he's numb. I'm going to tell you why I think he's not numb. Nah, bro. Hold on, I'm going to tell you why he's, I don't think he's numb. Tell there me. was a time where he had did some shit that I felt. But he understands media. No, hold on. I, it was a time he did some shit that I felt. If we're men, you would understand why I would be upset. And I could tell, like, when he was explaining it on his platform, he didn't get it. Like what, like what, like what, like what? So he had interviewed, so it was a, around a time, I think, was it after or maybe during Everyday Struggle, but I was trying to get these other ventures, and he had brought up a girl who's a notorious liar, um, and that particular girl, he was wise by the police, um, he brought up a girl that was saying and almost making allegations on me, and I was like, you know, this is the type of shit, especially you know where I'm, you know where I'm at in media at this point, this is hurtful. Mm. This isn't about like, you know, oh, like, oh, it's my ex or a girl I dealt with. This is a girl who's just saying shit. Why would, uh, yeah. Okay, so I remember saying, yo, I think he's he's just emotionally, not, he doesn't understand shit. So when me and him used to get into it, I said, all right, bet. If you don't care about nothing, I'm gonna find something you won't care about. So I talked about everything. Yeah, yeah our relationship is weird. And, and, going. and there was a point, I went to No Jumper one time I remember I walked in, there was a bunch of Crips this and third, and I was just like, I don't care who in here, y'all gonna have to beat me up because when, when the camera come on, Aki's gonna be Aki. You ain't gonna get the toned down version. It's always gonna be Aki. And I remember I went kind of hard at him about his relationship with Lena. And this is before I knew anything. I was joking about all type of shit. And he messaged me like a day or two after, and he said, hey, listen, yo, you know, when I came in the game, you're one of the people I looked up to. Like, I love doing content with you, but I'm gonna be honest with you, this is kind of out of bounds. Like, you mentioned in my girl in a certain way. And I won't be honest, I was so happy because I thought it was a motherfucker. Yeah, I, I, I thought it was a motherfucker with no. Now here's the limit. question So, Adam will is let that- you sleep with his girl, but you can't, like, comment on his girl? Like, what sort of twisted moral code does Adam 22 have? That limit an emotional limit, or is that did you attack the brand in a way mm-hmm. 
Because I think the motivation with a lot of people, Adam's not singular in this. I think with a lot of people, especially successful people, is what continues to provide for the brand. So if you act like C-Mac, right, Crip Mac, if he acts crazy and wild and he's the most entertaining and fucking in incredible character, it don't matter what he says because he is uplifting the brand. So I'm going to have you around. C-Mac is saying, I'm going to eat your girl's ass. I'm going to fuck her. I'm going to do all that. It, that's uplifting the brand. It's part of it. It's great. You... We're chipping away at the brand. Death by a thousand cuts. Do you know what that is? Yeah, I know. But what? Fuck the brand. I think his girl finally said, "You gonna let your man talk about me nah, like that?" No, it's not. No. Act, Lisa? Act, think about it. Everybody's calling him a cuck, and then all of a sudden, no. Th this is a different Adam. Big boy, Adam. Hold on. This is out. a different. This Adam has put on like I think at first a He's facade on an act persona. No, but back then, bro, I did an episode of uh, what's it called, and he had the YouTube clip questions lined up. Like we're, we're all no jumper, and I thought that we're kind of cool. And he had the he had the title in the questions, and I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh wow, the most important thing here, because I thought we were like cool, not like boys or nothing, but I thought we were cool enough, whatever. And I was like, okay, you came in here, you know what your title got to be for this podcast, you know what the clips got to be for the podcast, and and I'm like, okay, now I understand who you are. Anything that serves you and continues to succeed within this business, this is going to be a good thing, and we're going to go and we're going to push on it. I don't. Yeah, but that's just being a good creator, though. I mean, what does Scholes expect? He's going to go in there and talk about something boring? Like, yeah, listen, every time I do an interview, every question I ask is, is designed to be a clip because that's the world we live in today. doesn't mean you have to ask malicious questions or bad questions, but... I mean, shit, that's the name of the game. What do you expect him to do? Aside from that, though, I would definitely say, I mean, look, Adam, I agree with, with my chat here. Adam is a really strange guy. Uh, I have the utmost respect for what he built, but I feel like what he's built has become too intertwined with his personality. And uh, his personality is not one that I really like or admire or respect in any way. Uh, he just doesn't stand for what I stand for or what a lot of other people stand for. And that's fine, by the way. I don't need to agree with everything somebody stands for to, to enjoy what they do. So I do watch some of his stuff, but I mean, it's just, I, I don't respect, I guess, what he stands for is more what I'm trying to say because it just seems very superficial to me. And I'm I'm no superhero and, you know, I'm not perfect either, but I'm definitely, I would not be having a wife and passing her around and making a reality show and putting my kids through this. To me, it's just completely insane what Adam22 has become. So let me know in the comments what you think about what Ak said. I feel like Ak is, he, listen, he's keeping it pretty real on, the, on this episode of the Flagrant Podcast. Mm -hmm.